Ang grupong Rocket Philippines National Youth Commission at Commission on Human Rights may ilalabas na animated video bilang pag-alaala sa martial law. Panuorin muna natin ito. Ngayon pag-uusapan natin yan, kasama si na Rocket Philippines founder Gang Badoy at National Youth Commission Commissioner Gio Tingson. Magandang umaga sa inyo. So itong video na to, dito nag-premiere sa News to Go. Oh, okay. first time, first time. At katatapos lang daw kahapon? Kahapon. Okay. Sige, Gan, last time you were here, no? Nag-guest ka rito para i-premiere naman yung Lupang Hiniran noong June 12. Yung animation oh, naman. Anima animated version din ng ating uh, Pambansang Awit. Uh -huh. So favorite, mukhang favorite uh, format na ngayon ng uh, Rock and Philippines ang animation. Na uh, ano yung naging impact nung uh, Lupang Hiniran muna? So naging, pumatok mo yun sa kabataan? I'd like to think, oh, syempre, biased ako eh. So, maybe by default, hindi ko siya nasagot yun. Pero isang reason kung bakit animation is because yung flexibility ng medium, hindi mo kailangan magpa-reenact, hindi mo kailangan magka-bias on the artista, or et cetera. Minsan kasi, pag uh, pinareenact mo, halimbawa, yung artista, hindi ko alam artista ng GMA7, but halimbawa, artista ng GMA7, may bias agad yung nanonood. Oh. Gusto ko tanggalin sana yung reaction na yun para mag-focus. Sabihin kapusong video yan. Or, or mag-focus dun sa topic oh. lang mismo, oh. which in this case, of course, is yung batas pambansa 880, mm -hmm. which is bawal mag-gather in public spaces kung hindi mm -hmm. Freedom Park. I think yung point ng, mm -hmm. ng one-minuter na to is to say na may mga kalayaan tayo ngayon na nai-enjoy na dati wala. Okay, so that was one of the rights that were lost, one of the freedoms lost during martial law. Uh -oh. So, you're a commissioner of the National Youth Commission. Yes, Gio, of course, uh, masyado kang bata para <laughs> maalala yung martial law personally. Wala ka sigurong... Uh, ano bang mga memories ng um, uh, generation mo? What do they know Absolutely. that were passed on to you? Yung, yung usapan ngayon ng maraming mga kabataan ay it's been 25 years since the first EDSA. Meaning to say, a generation has passed. And this generation is starting to make the big decisions in our country. Mm -hmm. Pero parang sinasabi natin na bahagi ng kasaysayan natin. Dapat mapunta ito sa education aspect. Ano? Yung nangyari na itong martial law. And this is one way of really celebrating, understanding what happened. Um, the struggles of our parents, of our titos, our titas, are the people are older to us. At intindihin at gawing bahagi ito ng isang ng, a democratic society that we have. At ganun siya ka-importante. Ako kasi dahil lagi tayo nag... <clears throat> Lagi tayo nagmamana ng memories ng ibang tao. So, yung mga stories ng martial law na alam ko, I mean, feeling ko akin eh. Pero actually, one year old lang ako nun. So, parang we think that we inherit stories. So, instead of just inheriting, instead of imana lang natin stories ng iba, mas, mas okay yata kung mag-focus tayo sa aral nung panahon na yun. Gal, bagay talaga siya ng kasaysayan natin eh. Instead of siguro, instead of primarily um, hatred for the characters who were involved at that time, I think gusto ko mag-focus yung this generation who never experienced it <laughs> on the lessons na, na, na makukuha natin from that. At ako, feeling ko gratitude rin dun sa mga, kasi maraming desaparecidos, maraming na torture, maraming namatay, fact yun and documented. So, parang I think kailangan may gratitude tayo for those who fell para tayo may layang mag-gather, magsalita, mag-express, di ba, magtanong, mm -hmm. man lang lahat yung dapat. I think isang gesture siya pero, of thinking. May, may, pero ano yung unique takeaway nyo from uh, your knowledge of martial law? Kasi yung sinasabi mong may mga oh, desaparecidos, oh. extra extrajudicial killings, I mean, these are going Stories, on today. Uh, no, today. These are going true. on today. So what's, 
what's the big difference between today and uh, the 1970s? Why, you know, what is so should, unique about you it? You know, what's so unique? I think if it's going on until today, then we should have a... The, the, the rage must be a hundred times more because it shouldn't even be happening anymore. Nung time na yun, parang may malinaw na explanation. Nung time na yun, madali ipaliwanag kung bakit may desaparecido. At uh, many years later, 40 years later, we look back and wow, meron pa rin ganitong nangyayari. And then dapat one million times mm. tayo mas galit kumpara dati, I Siguro think. Siguro yung highlight nga rin is it's forward-looking eh. Na, so yung paggunita nito ay forward-looking, meaning to say, tignan natin yung mga nangyari dati para hindi na siya maulit. Um, and kaya natin pinapasok. Small thing to big thing, di ba? Kahit yung, yung debate na bakit binan yung Voltes 5 dati. Kahit yung debate mm. ng long hair at oh. gugupitan, mm. mga na, ganon. Oh. Well, pa, actually, pa sa akin, itong mga nangyayari, yung mga nangyayari dati, it was more institutional, no? mm -hmm. rather than, kasi ah. yung extrajudicial killings today, it's hindi naman yan state, hindi naman yan state policy. No? Pero balikan natin yung video. Uh, okay. Uh, so, yung paksa nito, uh, parang sinasabi nyo, bawal mag-gather noong martial law uh, <laughs> in large numbers. Pwede. So, it's, in other words, it's it's a freedom today that uh, maybe uh, people in your generations uh, okay. take for Actually, granted. Actually, you know, important rin siguro malaman ng viewers, Howie, na ito lang yung first video. Kasi okay. partnership to ng National Youth Commission, Commission on Human Rights, at saka ng ROCKED. May series pa na release So every mm -hmm. other week, magre-release kami ng video hanggang December 10. Lahat tungkol sa remembering the lessons of martial law. Or... Actually, it's more of uh, appreciating freedom. In fact, yes. our tagline is, Tandaan, Kalayan, Alagaan. And in English, talagang, remember, we have freedom, therefore, we have to take care of it. So, yun yung point. So, no? this is the first in a series of animated videos yes. uh, na collaboration ng uh, Rocket Rock Philippines and the Na National Youth Commission. Well, and, of, Commission on Human Rights. and of course, and perfectly perfectly animated by the great Arnold Ayer. <laughs> okay. And he'll be animating all the videos. Yes, so all the yung, videos. Ganito yung estilo. So, uh -huh. uh, iba't ibang uh, iba subject matter ito. Iba't ibang aspeto ng freedom. In fact, hindi lang to martial law, by the way, on freedom. We also have some aspects on nung um, um, Commonwealth, there was freedom from the Spanish, and etc., etc. So, hindi lang to focus on martial law. But of course, a large part of it is about martial law because that was the first thing that na nawala yung kalayan. And these videos will be on a YouTube channel? YouTube. Uh, 12 noon, ma-upload na siya sa rocketphilippines.org. Okay. Maraming salamat, Gang Badoy at Commissioner Gio Tingson. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you.